The following video will show you how to replace the MWF water filter on your GE Appliances refrigerator. Please note, there is no need to shut off the water in your house before replacing the filter. You'll know it's time to replace the filter when the indicator light on the dispenser turns red or if you notice a slower flow of water from the dispenser. If your refrigerator does not have an indicator light, replace the filter about every six months. To locate the filter, look inside the refrigerator in the upper right corner. Since it is possible for a small amount of water to drip out when removing the old filter, you might want to place a small towel underneath. Remove the filter by turning it to the left until it releases, making sure you don't pull down on it. To prepare the new filter, you need to fill it with tap water. This allows for better water flow when the filter is installed. Position the new filter into the filter holder with the arrow on the front of the filter facing out. Place the filter up inside the holder and gently push up as you turn the filter to the right. Turn the filter to the right until it stops, taking care not to over tighten it. Run roughly one and one half gallons of water through the new filter to clear any air from the system. A little water may initially spurt from the dispenser, so be sure to use a large pitcher to collect the water. Also, it's normal to see a slight discoloration of your water during this step. But don't worry, the water will return to its normal color after being dispensed for a few minutes. If your refrigerator has a reset water filter button, press and hold it for three seconds to reset it. Now you are ready to enjoy fresher, cleaner filtered water and ice from your GE Appliances refrigerator.